Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. I would like to thank you for having me here in Germany. Uh, it is my first time to be in Berlin, and it's a remarkable one because I came at this time. Without a waste of time, I would like to start my speech. Uh, my topic is can human race, thank you, <coughs> can human race coexist within our diversities? Significance of the dialogue for existence. Leadership by and large and underscores most of our social and state conflict as history of conflict is witnessed. Leadership is a key is key to peace. Thank you. Leadership is key to peace to achieve cordial relations with other states of diverse nature and communities and leaders and individuals. The challenge is now who cares for peace? As our biases and differences force each, each and every one of us into violent confrontation and distractions instead of dialogue and coexistence. Today, we cannot avoid the, face, the faces of violence and grim pictures of the global scenes generated by rival politics and sectarian intolerance. Today, still young people are forced into the world of violence. If our diverse belief systems and ideologies make us better people, then it must enable us to care, at least for our common humanity, to coexist. In a Zulu maxim, uh, we have a saying uh, that goes as this, umuntu ungumuntu ungabantu, which means the person is a person because of other people. In so doing, it is a responsibility upon all, all and sundry to recognize diversities. To recognize diversities are reality which naturally enjoins all people to cherish each other's humanity and unconditionally and tolerance of differences and ready to live side by side in integrative manner. This simply is coexistence. In 1990, the former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan Nobel Peace Prize Award speech drew our attention to a deeper realm of our interdependence citing the butterfly effect and ecological similarity to Ubuntu. He said that when a butterfly flutters its wing in the Amazon forest, it causes a storm somewhere in the north. This aspect of interdependence is what leaders ought to recognize and pursue for our common peace and coexistence. It means leaders should lead by example to show essence of peace and for diversity tolerance, among <clears throat> other, to unite within our diversity. If we have been raised in a closed system where group is narrow, well, well view, and belief is positioned as either ultimate or unchanged, we become very intolerant. We need our differences to enable us to treasure the value of our diversities. Gandhi was confronted in 1927, to despise what he what is familiar with in United Kingdom and South Africa to change his basic Hindu values, his response was, I saw no reason to changing my belief, realizing that the people tend to demand conversion merely because they lack understanding of other people and intolerant of other diversities. We are a decade into the 21st century and over two decades since the crumbling of the divisive edifice, the Berlin Wall, the famous Berlin Wall, and the obnoxious apartheid regime in South Africa. Yet despite the bitter lesson for these events, we're still witnessing unprecedented rise in separatists and adventures mainly out of political, cultural, sectarian intolerance. Nevertheless, we could also admit our appreciable advancement in building global social cohesion, diversity tolerance, and cultural inter integration, 
and interface dialogues, which South Africa is a good example of after the demise of apartheid. The late Madiba insisted on the removal of all discriminations and injustice to human rights, saying in his own ways, I fought against the white domination, and I've also fought against black domination. I've cherished the idea, the ideal of a democratic and a free society in which all persons will live together in harmony with equal opportunities. Berlin Wall crumbled before the historical release of Nelson Mandela in 1990. Nevertheless, we may recognize some similarities between the two events. Thus, all focusing on the need of coexistence of diverse people as essential human rights and peace. In South Africa, economic and services and opportunities was remain between blacks and white. So in South Africa, poverty is a common and a problem of many young black having poor and inferior education due to the past injustice or wars of apartheid. And this world continue to affect thousands of youth who are unemployed, who are without work, without shelter, without any means to confront certain opportunities and be able to prove themselves and upgrade and put themselves in better position. Hence, being here to be able to, to, to talk and discuss about the, 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 the results and the effect of these wars and, and uh, the effect it has in the long term in our, in, in our societies. For me, it is key. So the battle to fight injustice began before the era of Mandiba, which included my great grandfather, Prince Shingani, in the early 1900s when he was uh, imprisoned in St. Helena. One of the most important achievements of Prince Shingane can be talked about in his ability to take responsibility for decisions that defended human rights abuses of the Zulu people by the then colonial, against the then colonial admi British administration in the 1900s, as early as 1902, to resisting domination as casual imposition. There is no, there is no more liberation, partly, but socioeconomic wars which include poverty, lack of job opportunities, education, dropouts, remaining can be removed, collective participation and contribution through self-help self -help, help in, uh, initiatives. I've started seven years ago annual programs and uh, events and, and festivals to promote ideals of my great grandfather for coexistence of diversities and human rights which ensures equal opportunities for all our citizens, especially cycling in the rural areas where opportunities are not available. I want to contribute in creating better opportunities for young people in Guazul Natal and around South Africa and Africa. To achieve, to achieve that, I have to establish a foundation, I had to establish a foundation that will be an instrument to facilitate this mission. The foundation is supported by various parts of government, Department of Rural Development, Department of Art and Culture nationally, and many corporates such as Total, Green Road, and, and others. The program is, is focused on building tourism capacity through various training programs that will accommodate tourism accessible uh, to be accessible to African artists in order to promote their heritages. It is aimed at creating employment opportunities for many young people who have missed the opportunity to have education. The event has been financed uh, also by my own foundation. And uh, our mission is very simple as it is to provide a platform for various groups to engage and develop common responsibilities that include rural communities, vulnerable groups, artists, art institutions, community organizations, professional, professionals and uh, associations, academic institutions, and representatives of national foundations and corporate organizations. So I'd like to really thank you again, once again, for having me here. And uh, I hope uh, the conference uh, uh, proceeds uh, with all success. 
And uh, we have a, a big respect uh, for the communities of Germany and Berlin. And uh, it is our regret for the circumstances that took place here 25 years ago, uh, before 25 years ago, when the wall was up, before the wall came down. But it just says a lot about uh, the power of the communities. It is only our communities that really has to make decisions as individuals in making sure that they take responsibility and hold our governments and our leaders to making sure that they implement things that talks to them. It is not the other way around. And Kofi Annan has said it many times that when leaders fail to lead and the communities shall be an example. But most of all, I think that we need more and more engagements of youth. We need to get the youth because that is our future. We cannot uh, be here and the minority of our people here is a, is a youth because at the end of the day, the problems comes from our youth and they get affected. It is the youth then that also that were able, that were the heroes of the fall of the wall and it is the same youth of today that will be able to break this invisible wall that will create, that, that continue to create threats and make our world unsafe. We have to make this world as one village that is secured for our people, that is safe for all, where there is justice and where there is respect for one another. So thank you very much. I know all speakers here are tired. Thank you for having me, and it is a pleasure to be in Berlin. Your country is beautiful.